Coming up next on Nickelodeon, it's Roundhouse, followed by Nick News. Scary Tale Theater. Once upon a time, in a land about 11 feet away, there lived a young boy. Hi, I'm the young boy. Like most young people, he had the fear of things changing. Hey, he said in rehearsal he was afraid of things changing. <laughs> See what I mean? The young boy was at a point in his life where a lot of things were about to change. I gotta go to junior high. One night, as the boy lay asleep, a tiny fairy appeared to him and gently woke him from his slumber. Shut up! Ow! I am the truth fairy! You're a fairy? Hey, you're the one that sleeps with a Barney doll. What's junior high like? And I want the truth. You can't handle the truth! Alright. First thing you gotta do in junior high is make all new friends. What about my old one? The truth fairy answered with compassion. Dump those jumps! <laughs> now listen good kid, because I'm only going to say this once. Girls! Girls? That's right, girls! <laughs> Junior high, they start looking at you funny. Smiling. <laughs> so they cast that evil spell on you. Start making you do crazy things like combing your hair and brushing your teeth. And worst of all, what? Taking a bath on a regular basis! The boy was distraught by the news, but remained calm. Mommy! Honey, what's wrong? Yeah, this better be good. I was dreaming about sheep. I don't want to go to junior high. It seems like everything is moving too fast. Well, honey, change is nothing to be scared of. It. In fact, the more things change, the more they stay the same, huh? What the hell, old dolly, does that mean? I don't know. Just play along. Yeah, you're right. Can I at least have some juice? You can't handle it, juice! Oh, great. Now it's the middle of the day. Time flies when you're making puns. It's great we can be friends even though it's so different. Yeah, I like cats and you like dogs. My favorite Full House Queen is actually yours is Mary Kate. I'm a boy, you're a girl. You're traveling to another dimension. A dimension out of rhyme or reason, but of hormones gone haywire. That's the signpost up ahead. It's upside down. You've just entered the Shy Light Zone. Meet Leisha and Bernie, two kids about to enter junior high. They find themselves strangely attracted to each other. Lord knows why, but they can't think of things to say to each other. On second thought, um, maybe we are too different to be friends. She's thinking, I don't like your company, but I still find you sexy. Well, personally, I could never be attracted to a flatbed truck like you. She's thinking, I hope you don't mind me staring at where your chest should be. You know, I used to think you were cute, but you're really just a jerk. Actually, you're still kind of cute. Well, I don't find you attractive either. Do too. I hate you. Do not. Fine. Fine. Fine? A freakish reality to be believed or disbelieved, or just made fun of on kids' television. But it's all here, in the Shy Life Zone. Principal Both, I'm Dr. My Eyes, a specialist in cosmetic surgery. Is there anything you'd like to have some work done on your head? That's right, after years of feeling inadequate about my tweeter, I'd like to enhance my speaker. Doctor, I'd like a both job. Oh, thank goodness you're home. I've been fighting off this giant man-eating zombie for hours. And? And I could use a little help. Now? Oh, well, later, fella. Listen, that ain't just happened. 
to be the 44 and a half year anniversary of the second time that Elvis ever licked an envelope. And I, for one, plan to spend the day with the king, provided I can get this stupid VCR to work. Oh. 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 I feel woozy. I, I feel weak. I feel... Oh, it's just good. Goodness, Frank, friend, what's happening to you? Come on over here, Stella. Let me show you. <laughs> I'll just fall to me. <laughs> you little candy man. Well, as long as the kids are at school. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> man, I can't find my locker anywhere. This school is so big, you gotta pass through customs just to get the French class. Come on. You can find your books and achieve that rebellious look that's all the rage with new Dreadlockers Month. Woo, now that's a storage unit that's ahead of its time. But what about security? Dreadlock lock? Sure, Dreadlockers has a special anti-theft device month. What, a hidden video camera and electronic tracking device? No, just the same from hair that hasn't been washed since RuPaul wore pants month. Woo, I'll take a Dreadlocker today. I'd lose my locker if it wasn't screwed on. Also look for Dreadlocks and bagels. Perfect for reggae festivals on the Sunday Brunch month. Yeah. Come on. I wish I could see into the future. Me too. Who will I marry? How many kids will I have? Will this monster it ever leave my face? I know. Let's play wedgie board. Yeah. Oh, man, guys, leave me alone. Oh, great wedgie. Why spirit of the underwear world? Tell us the future. Whoa. Quick, ask quick. Uh, what will I have for lunch today? Oh, you're going to have mine. I'm packing tuna. Will I be wealthy in the near future? Oh, oh here's a dollar. You take it. Oh. Do not try this at home. He's a professional actor giving wedgies under a controlled environment. If administered improperly, wedgies can cause serious chafing to the butt cheeks. Roundhouse does not condone wedgies, nor do we encourage the act of wedgie giving. Thank you, and back to our sketch. <laughs> How will I get home from school today? I'll carry you. Put my back. I promise. Cool. Oh. oh. Man, I knew junior high was going to be a pain in the butt, but this is ridiculous. I'm going home when nothing ever changes. Elvis has left the bathroom. Oh, hi, honey. You're just in time for supper. Well, since my dinner's ready, I found a new place to smell. My baby gives me only meat at the Harbor Hotel. I'll get you so gassy, baby. Well, I, I think your favorite. It's, it's rum broken. burn my dinner, baby. This tastes like dried out boot leather. Mm. And I think I just blew suede shoes. Sweetie, why don't you go get washed up and I'll bring you some dinner, all right? Whoa there, little Lisa Marie. You're looking pretty as a petunia on a cloudless spring morning. I can't take this. Everything's changing. I'm out of here. <laughs> return in a moment. You're watching Nickelodeon, and now back to Roundhouse. Now, you are much too old for this. No! 
Oh. Hey, Mom, if you're concerned about your child's unhealthy attachment to a stuffed purple dinosaur, worry no more. Now from the people who bought the belting baby Betty and power brooding Patty comes slowly rotting Blarney. <laughs> wow, my very own Blarney. Slowly rotting Blarney is made from a special substance called meat. So it rots the natural way. you, you love me. A maggot just chewed off my knee. And when the time comes to let go, your child is ready. Hey, fellas, you want to play with me and Blarney? No, thanks. We're going to Cow Chest Hairs. You want to come? Uh, yeah, hold up a sec. <laughs> See ya, Blarney. That's slowly rotting Blarney. When it comes to your kid, don't delay. DK. <laughs> hey, Bernie, I heard a big fat guy's having a concert at your house tonight. Hey, you watch what you're talking about, man. My dad, Elvis Hybrid, is a fifth-degree black belt. Oh my goodness, sweetie, your father, the pelvis, has drawn a crowd into the living room and they are tracking dirt all over my nice clean floor. Well, at least he's working. Yeah, but he's giving away all my silk scarves. Well, I'm gonna go over to Jimmy's and play some Mortal Wombat. Hold the truck wagon there, cowboy. You know how I feel about those violent games. Now, help me hold your father down while I beat him with this frying pan. Oh, wow, slow down! I know he's irritating, but you don't gotta whack him. Well, I just got a hit on the head might bring him back to reality. <laughs> wait, 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 let's try this psychology book instead. Oh, yeah, you're right. This is heavier. Let's see here. Come on, sir. It looks like somebody's been trying to drink my liquor from an old fruit jar. Oh, oh honey! Are you okay? Yeah, Mom, I'm fine. <laughs> Hold the pickles. I love you twice. Big ball! It's raining, it's raining! This is just a reminder. Bernie's back to school now. Thanks for still changing. Manly, sweetest. Manly. Hi, what's up? Hi, Lisa. That spit shield's working great. You don't have to be nice to me just because we're classmates, you know. No, no, no. I admire your guts. I mean, not everybody can live with so many embarrassing problems. Well, I figure out since it's a difficult time for everyone, so I just decided to get it all over with at once. Oh, well, yeah. Well, see you later. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, bye. Hi, guys. What's up? Thanks, but I already took a shower, brace face. <laughs> they say stones may break my bones, but names, well, actually, names might break them, too, because you see, I have a severe case of juvenile osteoporosis, and it's terrible. Oh, is that a back brace? I thought you were trying out for the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> So funny, I forgot to laugh. Hey, Cyclops, love the iPad. Yeah, the pirate looks really in. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Next, it's your turn to insult me. Go ahead, the meter's running. Uh, you got nice eye, and I think your mouth is real pretty, and I want to know if maybe you want to go out sometime. <laughs> well, it's Friday, okay? Hey, Duncan! <laughs> Whoa! Check out the dude from the Blonde Pimple Pilots. His beard is wicked cool. Hey, Bernie, looks like you're trying to grow a mustache. No, it's just a nose hair. Uh, it looks like you're going to have to start shaving. <laughs> no, I don't have to change. I'm not ready to grow facial hair. Come on now, Lisa Marie. What kind of way is that for a boy to talk? You know, a man ain't a man until he's grown himself a big old sideburn. <laughs> Try my Presley Press on sideburn. Wow, this is Luke Perry in the dust. You don't want them pussy sideburns that look like a roly-poly climbed up on your head. You want my karate chopping, high kicking sports sideburn, the big fat greasy fried peanut butter sandwich eating jumpsuit wearing feet propped up on a jaguar's head in the jungle room steel wool mutton shop. Woo! So, my train for big foot warm up the dirt bike they red. We're going to town. Uh -huh. This family's going to Elvis in a hand basket. We need professional help. <laughs> Tuned. Roundhouse will return in a moment. You're watching Nickelodeon, and now back to Roundhouse.
Jackson. My name is Black Elvis. And I just want to say I love you. I love you. And I love you. Thank you. Hola. Me amo Latino Elvis. And I just want to say, Te amo, te amo y te amo. Grande, muchas gracias. I don't need to show no stinking name tag. <laughs> we will now hear from our newest member. How you doing? I'm Daddy Elvis. Hi, Daddy Elvis. I just want to say, pull my finger, pull my finger, pull my finger. Thank you, Daddy Elvis. Now, one of the families of the new members introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Mom. I mean, I'm Priscilla. Not <laughs> Lisa Marie. Now, all of us have come to Al-Anon because a family member is an Come on, Zilla. Let's take it. Oh. I just want to say, can't we all just get along? I got the footage I'm about now. Zilla, we leave now. We can get a cheeseburger on the way back to my big pack of hair. <laughs> Don't look now. But Steve Stoner is like sitting right behind us. Okay, now is your chance. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to ask him out. Excuse me, um, I had this big crush on you, and I was wondering if you'd like to go out sometime. You know, I've had my eyes on you too. Uh, I'm sorry. I just remembered I had this terminal illness. <laughs> was there something I said? Hey, maybe it's your Coke bottle glasses. Here, try these new Diet Coke bottle glasses with only half the nerd magnification. I've been wearing glasses since I was in Cub Scouts, and I'm not changing for anything. Oh, Lisa, you look great. Thanks, but my name's Lisa. Oh, dear, are you still wearing your braces? No, my name is Lisa. Lisa, can you solve this equation for me? Hmm? Lisa, if you don't start putting in more of an effort, your grades are going to start dropping. That's not all. What can I do to raise the curve? You need algebra. What? The test supporter and calculator all in one. Here, give it a whirl. Lisa, I am waiting for your answer. Just a sec. Okay, let's see. Carry two. Almost there. Got it. X equals 34C. Very well done. Try algebra. The part that not only helps you figure. It keeps your figure. Wow, I am beginning to be attracted to the opposite sex. And change certainly hasn't done Lisa any harm. Oh, hi, Bernie. Hi, Lisa. You know, you look really hot. Oh, you think so? Mm-hmm. My glasses are getting fogged up. Oh, well, let me help you. Wow, I've never seen you without your glasses before. <laughs> what glasses? Hey, I thought you were really attached to those. Well, as the king would say, a man's got to learn to change. <laughs>
Mr. Marie. I'm proud to call you my son. You really knocked me out. Oh, Elvis, are you okay? Who are you calling Elvis? Oh, thank goodness. Your father is back to normal. Oh, and that's a good thing. Welcome back, sweetie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. President. My husband is Marilyn Monroe. Oh, what a bombshell. Reprise the theme song and roll the credit. When I have to go down and go down, 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 This is Magic Johnson. I'm coming to Nickelodeon to talk to you about something serious. So check it out. It's Nick's special edition, a conversation with Magic. Nick, right here on Nick.